feel great that he's going home, but at the same token, I still want him to fight. But that's his decision. That's his decision. You know, on the other hand, I raised him to be the man that he is. You know, I've always been in his life from a pup to now. And I'm going to continue to be in his life. You know, and as an adult, he has to make his own decision. You know? Yes, I do. I'm totally against that because this is where he's from. You know, and to have a to have a district attorney take that away from him that doesn't that isn't a residence from him. She's from another state. You know, and to see her how see her take a man away from where he's from to have to go live somewhere else. That's a that's offensive to me. I'm really offended by it. Can you talk you about? Oh, sorry, I thought you were done. I was just saying, can you talk about your bond through music? And part of his conditions is that he can still make music, still do some performances. I know you said you were hoping to get back to that with him. Yeah, we we gonna get back to work. You know what I'm saying? You know we're YSL, YSL loaded. I'm YSL loaded. You know, and in order for us to get back to our normal life. We got to put in some more work. We got to put on a lot of work, but the work that we need to do foremost for at the city of Atlanta, Fulton County, we need to get rid of the poison that's in our system, and that's the district attorney office. So vote Courtney Kramer. Courtney Kramer, I support Courtney Kramer to the fullest. I feel like she's the best person for the job, and it's not because of what she said about us. It's because she said that and she was in my company and never knew who I was. Absolutely true. You what, are your, what, what are your thoughts on his art being used against him? Young Thug absolutely won that plea deal for so many reasons. One, the prosecution got none of what they wanted when you think about what the charges were and what actually got pled to. And two, he saved himself some major civil liability. Let me break that down. So first off, Prosecution had charged this man with eight counts. Two of them were very serious. Two of them were basically saying that for years you were the leader of a criminal gang that committed murders and all types of violent acts all over the city of Atlanta. Those two charges Young Thug did not plead guilty to. Had he pled guilty to those, he would have gotten serious time and all the victims of all of this alleged criminal street gang activity, including the families of the murder victims, could have sued him civilly in court and said, hey, this man pled guilty to doing it. Now he's got to pay me. He pled no low contendere. The judge accepted that plea. The prosecution said, judge, you should not allow a no low contendere plea on those two counts. The judge said, I am going to allow it. So he doesn't take the hit for being the leader of this criminal street gang for years and years, causing all these murders. He exposes himself to no civil liability. What did he actually plead to? When they arrested him, they found him around a bunch of people who they claimed are gang members. They found a bunch of codeine, weed, cocaine, and some guns. And what they said is, hey, look, this is all street gang activity. And so what he said in court, the guns and drugs were around me. I'll take that charge.